Hey everybody, this is Freddy Off and welcome back to another Minecraft tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to build this relatively simple honey farm. So if you're an expert on bees and you don't really want to know how this works, you just want to build it, I'll stick a timestamp in the corner of the screen now uh, and I'll put a timestamp in the description so you can just jump straight into the build and start building it. If you are interested in knowing how this works, then stick around and I'll show you. So all the uh, all of the honey, all the honey bottles are collected in the front, in the barrel at the front, and obviously there's the the beehive, and I'll try and call that a beehive in this tutorial, and not a bee's nest. That's a bee's nest. That's a beehive. Frills, remember nest hive. So the uh, we've got three bees in the uh, the beehive there. Now it doesn't matter how many bees we put in this farm. It doesn't matter how many flowers we put in this farm. There can only be three bees in a beehive. Uh, and, the, and each bee will take two minutes to turn the pollen it collects off the flower into honey. And then the uh, you can't collect honey with a bottle from a beehive unless there is five pieces of honey inside the beehive. Hello, mate. Don't look at me. Crack on doing your job. Uh, and you'll know that. You'll know it's full when you can see honey dripping out of it or you can see yellow around the sides of it. Uh, but uh, but as I say, it does, you could put 50 bees in there and 100 flowers and the, the beehive will still only produce the same amount of honey uh, at, at the same amount of time. If one bee produces a, a piece of honey in the hive every two minutes, then three bees in there will produce three pieces of honey every two minutes, which means that you'll get a bottle of honey because you need five pieces of honey to make a bottle of honey. You'll get a bottle of honey every four minutes. Now, bearing in mind that bees sleep when it's night time and each Minecraft day is only 10 minutes long, you will get on average two or three bottles of honey a day. This is not going to be an industrial farm. OK, for an industrial farm, you will need an industrial amount of hives or nests, depending on what you're using. If you've only got the one hive or the one nest, you'll only produce three or uh, two or three bottles of honey per day. OK, so I'm just putting that out there just so you know. So the redstone behind it, where should we start? We'll start going around around here. So uh, you've got your, your hive there. You've got a comparator here, which reads when there is honey in the hive. OK, uh, and because we only want the the bottles to be dispensed to collect the honey when the, the, the hive has got five pieces of honey. If you don't know how much honey is in there, press F3. And if you look at the bottom right hand side or the right hand side of the screen now, it says honey level. So there's currently three bits of honey in that hive. When the, the bees that are in there pop out or when two of them pop out, there'll be a honey level of five. And this contraption will work and it will uh, it will harvest the honey. This comparator here is locking this comparator. We've got one and a half stacks of items in there. It doesn't matter what they are. We just need one and a half stacks in there because that is putting out a signal that is equivalent to five, a signal strength of five, which is locking this comparator. This comparator won't work until the signal coming in from the back of it is the same or greater than the signal coming in from the side of it. OK, so when this has got five pieces of honey in it, when it's got a honey level of five, that happens. Perfect timing. It puts a pulse through that repeater via this pulse shortener uh, and then this goes down two forks the first one down this side it turns off this redstone torch which unpowers that repeater there which unpowers this block which allows these water bottles or one water bottle to flow from here from that hopper into the dispenser okay uh, and it's only off for long enough for one bottle to go through a tick later the bottle that is now inside, where we're going, frills, the bottle that is now inside this dispenser is powered by this repeater, okay? It's fired out, it collects the honey from the hive, and it sucks it back in again. So you've now got a full bottle of honey in this dis dispenser. A tick or so after that, via that repeater, this block is powered which unpowers that torch, which allows the bottle of honey in here to flow from here into the, the, uh, the, the barrel at the front, but it also allows the bottle of honey that's in the dispenser to flow down into here. Okay, now the reason we've got this elaborate contraption is that if we, weren't, if we hadn't locked that hopper, all of the, uh, and we hadn't locked 
the hopper at the top with the empty bottles in, all the bottles would just flow straight from the uh, the water. Uh, sorry, straight from the empty bottle hopper, straight through the uh, dispenser, straight into here, straight through into the chest at the front. So it is quite elaborate. But it's important. It's important that we do it like that. It's important that these ticks on the repeaters are as they are. Uh, because if they're changed, if you if you change them slightly, this is going to get all out of sync. It's not going to work. Okay, it's going to break. You're going to get honey uh, trapped in the dispenser. You're going to get empty bottles in your, uh, in your uh, barrel at the front. It's just not going to work. Okay, so it is important. Now, the reason I've done this is because I don't want to have to come to the front of my uh, farm every couple of hours or so and take out all the empty bottles that have been flushed through because, you know, the, the farm has been activated every time a bee goes in and out of a hive. It would have been easy to do that, but I didn't want to do that because because I didn't want to do that. OK, um, so anyway, that's that's what it looks like It's for what it does super compact it's also got uh, overflow protection as soon as this is full up with honey let me fill that up with honey to show you as soon as that's filled up with honey the next one to come through will cause this to power it'll cause that It'll cause that repeater to power because of that comparator there. When there is a honey bottle in there that won't go into the uh, the barrel at the front, that comparator will be powered, which will power that dust, which will power that comp uh, repeater, which will power that line, which will turn off the uh, the farm so that no more water bottles are, are sent into the front. No more water bottles go into the dispenser uh, because if they did, the bees would carry on working. The water bottles would carry on. Uh, the water bottles, the honey bottles would carry on firing out and eventually they would have nowhere to go. Uh, and they'd sit on top and they'd despawn and you just waste a load of honey bottles. So I'm going to sit here and wait for a second. It shouldn't take too long now, honey three. So as soon as those bees come out again, this farm should turn off. And then I'll just show you how to reset it, how to get it starting again. Okay, so because the, the empty bottles there are being locked, because there are honey bottles in this bottom hopper, as I mentioned, the bottom hopper powers that redstone dust, powers that repeater, which powers this line here, which locks that empty bottles so no empty bottles can now go into the dispenser which means that when this uh, when the hive fills up the system fires but there are no bottles in the in the dispenser there to collect the honey okay so it's so it stopped in effect that stopped working so the bees will now continue to go in and out and in and out and just carry on as normal but you won't get any more honey in there because it's full to get it working again what you need to do is obviously empty the uh, the honey that's that's in there, so it's empty. And then you need to grab yourself an empty bottle. We'll get one out of get one out of here. And now you need to empty the hive manually. Okay. Now don't worry about this. I'm going to put myself into survival just so just so you sure. Just let's make sure there are no. No bees anywhere else. I think we're safe. Game mode survival. Okay. I'm now going to uh, collect honey. Oh, there's a bee there. I've got to wait for him to go. If I collect honey from here, there's a good chance he'll get angry with me. And I don't want him to get angry because if he stings me, he's going to die. And I really don't want the bee to do that. But you need to you need to collect the honey out of, uh, out of that hive. So he's gone back in again. So if I collect this, every bee in there, all three of them are going to go mental, but they won't be able to get out. They can only come out the, the front of the hive. They won't be able to come out the back. So I do that. Oh, actually, they're inside, so it's uh, so they're okay. All right, now that has reset the system. I can now put this honey into the front. Oh, no need. And if I have a look underneath now... That's okay. That's okay. So now we've uh, we've reset the system, and uh, and as long as we've got water bottles in there, it'll carry on working. If the water, if if the empty bottles ever run out, then.
then it'll stop anyway. It'll do the same thing. So you'll need to fill it up with water, fill it up with empty bottles, and then you'll just need to empty the, the hive manually uh, and, and that will reset it. So now you've seen how this thing works, let's crack on and build it. So to build this apiary, you're going to need a couple of stacks of solid blocks. This can be any solid blocks you want. I'm using oak logs. You're going to need a couple of slabs. These Again, these can be any slabs you like. I'm using stone brick slabs for this build. You're going to need six pieces of glass. Again, this could be any color glass you want. You're going to need two barrels. You're going to need three blocks of glowstone. You're going to need 62 stairs. If you want to build it the same as I'm building it here, obviously these, this is for the roof. So if you want to build your roof a different way, uh, then obviously that's up to you. But I'm going to be using 62 stairs and four oak planks. The redstone, you're going to need a dispenser. It has to be a dispenser. Don't go picking up a dropper. A dropper won't work. It has to be a dispenser. You're going to need six hoppers, one sticky piston, four repeaters, three comparators, 10 pieces of redstone dust, two redstone torches, you're also going to need three grass blocks or dirt blocks or pods or blocks to put your plants on. And you're going to need three flowers. You're going to need a door. Any wooden door will do. You're going to need a couple of ladders. You're going to need a trap door. Again, any trap door will do. I'm using spruce for these. Uh, you're going to need a couple of stacks of glass bottles. Uh, in fairness, you could probably get away with using as many glass bottles as you can get your hands on. It won't hurt. Uh, you're going to need a stack and a half of any item. This could be dirt, it could be cobble, it could be redstone, anything that you've got a lot of. Uh, but you are going to need a stack and a half of it. And you've then finally, you're going to need yourself a beehive or a bee's nest and a silk touch pick or silk touch tool of some kind. So now you've got all your gear and you've got somewhere to build it. You need to grab yourself a barrel and you need to dig a trench. And you need to put a barrel just there like that, okay? And then on this hole here, you want to dig down one more and stick a redstone torch on that block. Now, if you want to change this for uh, a, a different block, uh, then you can do. I'm going to change it for stone brick. And then you want to put a redstone torch on that. That's going to lock the, the last hopper, okay? And then you want to grab your hoppers. You need to crouch and chain three hoppers running into this barrel okay make sure make sure the nozzles on them are pointing into the next one if you've got them pointing straight down by accident that's going to work it's not it's, that's going to break it's not going to work so make sure you're looking at the hopper that you want the first hopper to go into now take out your dispenser and this has got to be a dispenser don't use a dropper otherwise this just will not work make sure you've got a dispenser if you're not sure Hover over it and it'll tell you what it is. Dispenser. Okay. And then you need to crouch and jump and you need to put a dispenser facing upwards on top of the last hopper. Like that. Okay. And then going into the side of this dispenser, you're going to need two hoppers. So crouch and put a couple of hoppers chaining into each other into that dispenser there. And on top of this hopper, you're going to need to put yourself down a barrel. So again, you'll have to crouch and put a barrel like that. Now you want to get around the back of the farm and coming out of the back of this dispenser here, you want to put down a slab. Okay, so you want a slab like that and then jump up on the slab. You'll need to put yourself down a sticky piston with a block on top of it. And then coming off the back of this sticky piston, you're going to need another slab. Okay, so you've got slab, sticky piston, block on top of it, and then another sticky, uh, then another slab. Now on top of this slab, facing the sticky piston, you're going to want to put down a comparator. And then on this slab, you're going to want to put down a repeater. And this has got to be on two ticks. Okay. And now next to the solid block, next to the repeater, you want to put down a solid block, just like that. Okay. And on the side of this solid block, this side, you need to put down a redstone torch. And on top of the block, you need to put yourself down a blob of redstone dust. So now you've got that. Now you want to get over to where the redstone torch is. You need to dig a hole directly underneath it. 
you can replace that with a uh, with a block of choice if you want to. There's, I like putting redstone on stone brick. I think I've said that a million times, just in case anybody's digging up underneath because it's not it's not a naturally spawning block. Uh, so if uh, if I'm digging around and I see a piece of stone brick, I am pretty confident that there's going to be some redstone on top of it. So you want to dig down one like that. And then you want to put a piece of redstone dust in there. And then a redstone piece of dust there. And then there, you're going to want to put yourself down a repeater. And you can leave this one set to one tick. Now you want to run that repeater into a solid block like that. Now that is locking that hopper. Nothing will come out of that hopper and go into the dispenser now. Now on top of this block here that you just put down, you need to put yourself down a comparator. Okay, now that is going to lock this comparator. So grab yourself a hopper. You're going to need to crouch, look at the edge of that comparator and put a, a hopper like that. And then inside this hopper, you're going to need to put one and a half stacks of items. So a stack of 64 and then half a stack of 32 inside this hopper. So that's now giving out a signal strength of five. So this comparator will not power now until the power coming into the back of it is a signal strength of five, i.e. there are five pieces of honey in your hive. So now you should have something that looks like that. Now get yourself back around the front of your farm and you need to dig a hole next to the first hopper. So dig a hole there like that. And in there, you're going to want to put yourself down a comparator. It's going to read whether or not there's anything inside that hopper. I'm going to change that block there for, uh, for a stone brick, but you don't have to if you don't want to. And then in the hole here, you're going to want to put yourself down another blob of redstone. Okay, so when that, hopper, when that comparator fires, it's going to fire that piece of redstone. Replace that. And now you want to dig a hole going all the way along here. Okay, so a four deep hole going all the way along to that piece of redstone there. Okay. I'm going to replace these with stone brick. So now you want to put yourself down a repeater like that. Okay, that can stay on one tick. And then you're going to want to run redstone across there. Now you can see that redstone's linked up up there. That's not a problem. Uh, and we'll sort that out in a second when we start putting the wall in around the back of the farm. But for the time being, that's what you should have. Now moving over to the left-hand side of the farm, you'll need to replace that. Uh, if you want to obviously and then put a piece of redstone dust on there and then you want to dig out two holes here and on here you need to put yourself down a repeater on two ticks and then a piece of redstone dust then you want to dig out these blocks you want to go down two blocks down to there and on that block there facing forwards you'll need to put down a repeater on four ticks okay and then on top of that repeater, you're going to have to crouch. You want to put down a solid block. So this piece of redstone dust here, when it's powered, will power that block, but it will also power the repeater that's underneath it. And the repeater that's underneath it is powering that torch there that we put on right at the beginning. Okay, so when that repeater is powered, that repeater is powered. It's unpowering that torch, which means any bottles that are in the bottom hopper are going to flow through into the uh, into the uh, the chest at the front, the barrel at the front. And now what you need to do is put down a solid block next to the dispenser. Alrighty. And then put another piece of redstone dust on top of there. Now that piece of redstone dust when fired will power that block, which will power the dispenser, which ultimately will harvest the honey out of your beehive. So now you should have that. So I think you'll be glad to hear that that's all of the redstone done now. Uh, now we've just got to start building the, uh, the, the farm, the structure around it. So get yourself to the front and you're going to need to find your block of choice. Take out your block of choice. I'm using oak logs for this one and you need to put down five logs across the front five solid blocks across the front three 
are going to have to crouch to do that five okay make sure the barrel is is sitting outside of the front and then you've got your five pieces of uh, five solid blocks like that and then go up two more blocks okay this is where we're going to be putting glass blocks but we won't do that just yet we'll do that in a second then jump inside you want to put down another three blocks there one two three three blocks there one two three and in here we want to put down uh, either dirt or podzel or or grass blocks anything you like this is where the flowers are going to go uh, so it's entirely up to you what kind of block you put in there i'm going to use grass one i have to crouch to do that two three and that's where we're going to be putting flowers i think in this one i'm going to be using whatever these are azure bluette we'll give those bad boys a go so you want to put your three flowers in there like that now whip out your solid blocks again and you want to put two blocks there like that and crouch and put two blocks there like that and then another block on top of your uh, your uh, barrel and three blocks up the side like that now we want to leave a gap directly above the dispenser because that's where the hive or the nest is going to go but we do want to fill in that block there like that if you want that block to be pointing straight up put a temporary block on top of your dispenser and do that and then just break out the the block above your dispenser okay so now you've got something that looks like that now just jump back up on top again and put a row of blocks all the way around like so and then put a line of blocks across the front now these are going to be invisible because we're going to have slabs on there unless you want to do the roof a different way but we're going to be putting sorry we're going to be putting stairs there so they won't be visible so i'm not too worried about those being that way around and now on the inside just there you need to put yourself down some glowstone now this is not it's not needed you don't need it for the farm to work but when it's dark at night these blocks here are spawnable so you don't want to come here in the morning to find your bees in there with a load of creepers or zombies or skellies or something so put a bit of light up there and it also makes it look nice at night um, so there you go so now you've got something that looks like that okay now we're going to stick in a, a way to access the hoppers underneath once we put a skin around this we won't be able to get down underneath it so well uh, dig a hole in here so we can access the hoppers underneath just to check them in case something goes wrong We need to check to see if anything's blocking them or or blocked in there So come around to the left hand side of your farm You want to come to this block here and dig down three blocks And then you want to stick yourself down a couple of ladders because we're going down there like that Then go down here and then dig across Three more blocks. Okay, so one two three and that should bring you into here And now if we want to we can access these hoppers so if anything gets stuck in here or we get any uh, any glass bottles in here that shouldn't be in here, we can come down and we can sort it out. And then grab yourself a torch and just stick a bit of lighting down here. Uh, you don't need it, but if you, if you put it down here, then no bugs are going to spawn down here and you're not going to walk down here straight into a creeper. Now pop yourself back out again. Grab yourself a trap door and stick a trap door over the top like that. So now you can, act, now you can open the door, go down, sort out your, the uh, hoppers if you need to so now it's time to put the skin all the way around the outside of this bad boy so grab your block of choice again my my oak blocks my oak logs and you need to start at this side you need to start at the right hand side because we're going to be putting the door uh, on the left hand side start at the right hand side and you just need to crouch and put a block above the top of that repeater and then you need to put blocks all the way around you see there it cuts that line which is which is what we need so don't worry about that but it will cut that line block there a block there and then all the way around the back of it to here and then all the way back in again until you get to here okay i'm going to replace that with a uh, with a stone brick block and now on here you need to put yourself down a normal door we are going to need to be able to get inside here we'll need to get inside here to be able to harvest the beehive or the bee nest if it's ever full up we need to get into here to have a look inside the dispensers to make sure that there's nothing in there if the farm seems to be broken so we, we're going to need access inside uh, and this is where we're going to do it so now we want to stick our door in there so we'll stick our door there like that i got all concerned then i mean creative and i was all worried then that I, th I thought i heard a mob so we put a door put a door there like that now we need to fill all the way up to the top around the back of it with solid blocks so just jump up on here 
and go around and fill it all in. If you want to make this, uh, if you want to put a pattern on the back of here, then you obviously you can do that. It's your farm. You can do what you like with it. Put one on there. There, 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 there. Like that. A couple of blocks on there. And then just fill the block the top in with any old block. I'm going to use wood logs, but obviously you can use any, any block. You're not going to be able to see that from the outside, so you can use any block you like in there. And then just whip inside and stick in a bit of lighting in here again, just to stop mobs. Bit of light in there, 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 and there. Perfect. Now, as I mentioned, if you want to get in here now to look inside your dispensers, you can do. Uh, and if you want to get in here to harvest your honey uh, when the farm is full or you've run out of, water, of, uh, of uh, empty bottles, then this is where you do it. You do it here. Close the door. So now you've got something that looks like that. Okay, before we go off and get our bees, our bee nest or our, our beehive or, or whatever, before we do that, I'm just going to stick the roof around the top of it. So just grab yourself some stairs. And then I'll grab a few oak slabs just to finish off the top. Look at that. Super cute. I love it. Now we need to go and grab ourselves some bees. Now, there are a couple of ways that you can get the bees over here. First of all, you can go over to a, a bee nest. If there's a bee nest over here, go over and wait for the bees to go inside it. Come on, fella. Stop messing about with those. Go down here. So you wait for the, uh, wait for the bees to go inside the bee nest. There's two in there now. Uh, he's not going to play ball. So we'll just... Are you coming back here? You're not going to, are you? So I'm going to make do with this one that's got two in it. So get yourself your silk touch pick and break your uh, break the uh, the bee nest. Now be careful if there are bees about. Okay, they are going to get aggroed with you. So try and do it when the bees are all inside. The three bees, remember, you'll only get three bees inside a bee a bee nest. Okay, so once you've got that, whip back over to here, and then what you're going to need to do. Is put your bee nest there. You're going to have to crouch, put your bee nest there, and then you're going to have to fill all of this in with glass, okay? So if you fill it in with glass to start with there, 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 and there, and then crouch, put your bee nest down, and then put that in the front. Now, eventually, in a second or so, those two bees are going to come out. Okay, so we've only got two bees in there. Now we can either we can either break this and try and breed them so we get a baby bee in there, or we can go off looking for another bee. If we run around here, I'm sure I saw one. Probably gone in there. Yeah, gone in there. So if we break break these blocks and we breed those little babies and then take the flower out of our hands, they should go back inside the farm. Go and get back in there. There you go. Back inside, we could put the glass back on the front of it. Now we've got our three bees in there. Uh, and, and that's all the, the farm will support. So there's no point getting any more in there. As I said, don't bother putting 20 in there. There's no point in having a massive area full of flowers. All it means is these guys will have to fly further and then back again before they'll start dropping off their honey. The fact that there's only three there, they can't go anywhere else. So they'll come out, they'll get the, the nectar, the pollen, and then they'll go back in, uh, back into their bee nest. Now, if you didn't have a silk touch pick and you just want to use a beehive instead of a bee nest, what you need to do is, is make yourself a beehive. They're easy to make. It's three three pieces of honeycomb uh, in the middle and then three pieces of wood planks at the top, three pieces of wood planks at the bottom, and you'll make yourself a beehive. So crouch, put your beehive there like that. Okay, and then we need to go and find ourselves some bees. So if we run over to where we think there's a beehive... A bee nest, sorry. Then we'll wait for these bees to come back out again. 
So once they start coming out, hold a flower in your hand and they'll just come over and they'll be all interested in you. So once you've got your three bees interested in you with your flower, then you just have to walk them back to your nest. Uh, back to your beehive, sorry. Jump inside. Where have you gone, mate? Come on. Get them all in here. And then... Take the flower out of your hand and put the glass over the front. And they should be more interested in the flowers in there than they are of getting out. And that's how you get three bees into your honey farm. Now finally, all you've got to do is prime this thing. So whiz round to the side. You're going to need to throw some honey bottle, uh, some um, empty bottles into there. Okay. And now as long as the hive or the nest isn't full of honey, if it's full of honey, remember you're going to have to grab yourself an empty bottle. You're going to have to drain all of the honey out of the nest. If it's empty, then that's it. You should be good to go. All of the bottles are going to filter through. So now we've just got to wait for the bees to do their magic. So there you have it, everybody. A really nice and compact honeybee farm that you can easily build in 1.15. If you've enjoyed the tutorial, please don't forget to leave it a like. And if you've really loved it, don't forget to subscribe for future tutorials. This is Fully Off, and I'm out of here.